guys and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today, I of course, I am so excited because I have an entire collection of a new line from MAC Cosmetics and I am so excited that I got my hands on the entire collection. I believe it's like a 19 piece collection. I think I have it all. So I'm going to show you everything in this collection. I'm going to do the swatches. I've already done one look, which I will show you how I did that. And then I will do another look with the other palette because there's two eyeshadow palettes. Do you want to see what this is all about and what all I got? Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So I have been eyeing the new line from MAC, the Electric Wonder. I've been eyeing it for some time. Every time I go to MAC and look, the palette's sold out. Most of the products are sold out. On Macy's, they have the product, but other products are sold out. So I was actually at work the other day and I stumbled across a listing on eBay. I know I normally do not buy products like this on eBay, but this one was a deal I could not pass up, especially how it went down. So I saw this listing and it was $375 for the whole 19 piece set. I'm like, are you serious? How much would it be if I would have bought these separately? So I went to Mac and Macy's and I got the prices between the two that I can find with the stuff. And it was well over $500 if you bought the set individually. That's not including shipping, which I'm sure at that price you would have free shipping, but it's not including sales tax or anything like that. So my man goes to walk by me out of my office and I was like, if I had the money, I would totally get this. And I showed him, he goes, get it. I'm like, what? He goes, get it. I'm like, wait, wait, what? He's like, yeah, get it before I change my mind. I'm like, but do you see that, 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 that says $375. My man is like so conservative. He does not like spending money that we don't need to, which is a good thing, you know, it's how we all should live. But for him to tell me to get something that costs $30 is amazing, but $375, I almost had a heart attack. Not literally, but you know, a figure of speech. So I'm like, are you, do you really see that this is $375? And he's like, yeah, I'm like, it's not $3.75. It's not $37.50. It is $375. He's like, like I said, get it before I change my mind. So I instantly hit pay, pay, da -da, done. I'm like, cool. He's like, all right, I changed my mind. I'm like, but I already bought it. He's like, well, good thing you did. He was joking at that point, but I could not believe he said to get it. So the other day it came in this priority box. And when I open it, everything was just kind of tossed in. I mean, it's wrapped in tissue, but there's no packing. There's no bubble wrap. There's nothing to keep everything confined and together. It's just blowing around in there. So I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and open these and make sure everything is in here and nothing is broken because I don't want to wait now a week till I can sit down and do this with you guys to find out that there is a problem. So to my surprise, there was a problem. Check it out. So I took those pictures and I sent them to the person that I purchased them from and she came back saying that she would give me a hundred dollar refund and I was like okay no problem that's probably what it would be to replace them so no problem because the one bronzer that was completely out it was still intact there was nothing wrong with that all I did was glue it back down into the pan so that one was perfectly fine. The eyeshadow palette was just that one dark brown, which the darkest browns I barely use just for my corners. So I don't use much of that color. Plus I was able to clean everything up, salvage it, and it's pretty much a little more than half is still all in there. Like it's probably a quarter of the shadow is what came out. So I can salvage that one, no problem. The only one that I cannot salvage is the highlighter, the pink busted all up and I do know that there's a way I've been told one of my friends said about just spraying like alcohol on it and pressing it down that you can repress it so I might do that I'm not quite sure but so basically I got this entire collection for $275 that is a huge 
steal because the palette, the eyeshadow palettes alone are $48. So in just those two palettes, there's $100 right there, not including everything else that's in there. So let's go ahead and start unboxing. Let's see what these are. Let's play with them and see what we have. Now that that story is done. <laughs> okay, so right on top, I'm gonna go through the palettes. This is the one that is broken, so it's out of the box because there's tons of stuff in the box, like broken. Like if you look in there, it's all black from the broken eyeliner or eyeshadow, and I don't want to put it back in there. But this is the the packaging is gorgeous. Look at the packaging, you guys. The packaging is just beautiful. Look at that. This is the actual palette right here. So this one is the eyeshadow natural vice. So again, there's two different palettes. There's natural vice and desert lightning. So there's two eyeshadow palettes. I will go ahead and go through each one and swatch them. So let's go ahead and start with this one first. This is the one that was broken that I cleaned up and it, I did a pretty darn good job cleaning this up, you guys. So there is the palette. There's the broken one. You see how the line? So it was only like a quarter of it ended up breaking. So there's that right there. And again, this one is the natural vice. So let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys. And then we'll move on to the next one. Hold on. You literally cannot, this one, oh, I can kind of see it there, but I literally, I'm like, it's not even coming out. No wonder why I had it going with a darker color when I used it. These are so light. Okay, so this complete palette, again, these took several, several swiping on here just to get that color that you see. There's the complete palette right there. So that is what I use to do this eye look. And what I use, let me put this little thing down so I can get the colors to tell you what colors I used. Okay, so I first went in with this very first Fab Accent. And again, I couldn't really see anything. So I went ahead and added this darker color here, which is Cork, to get it so I can see something. Then I went in with this Diamond Butterfly, the shimmer color in my bottom of my lid. Then I went in with Go Wilder, this color right here. That's what I did in my crease. And then I used a Natural Vice, the one that was broken, in my far corner. And then I went back in with the Fab Accent just to blend in the top part. So that is how I created this look using this palette. Okay, so let's go in with the second palette. And again, that is the Desert Lightning, same packaging. This is just the most beautiful packaging I have ever seen. These are just, this is so pretty. And I'm not a pinky kind of girl or a gold, but this is just stunning. I can't help but love this packaging. So let's go ahead and look at this one. And this will be the second look that I will do. I haven't used this one or touched this one yet. And these are more like the grays and blue tones. Those are so pretty. And this is the Desert Lightning. Okay, so here is this complete one here. Now I gotta tell you, <laughs> is it just me? This color right here, doesn't that look like a teal greenish, like grayish color, like blue? Tell me how, watch this. See how it looks blue? Okay, I'm getting more of the same blue. Look at this. It goes to like a blue to a brown. It has like the, that is this color right here. Isn't that weird? That's so pretty. It's like an opalescent where it looks brown, but then you can get a little bit of the green. I can't wait to try that. So there is the complete palette on this one. Okay, so let's go into the last larger palette that is in this kit. Same packaging, of course. And this is the Ignite Wonder Face Palette. 
there we have it. So this is the face palette. And let me get these swatched for you. And I don't have any blush on. I normally don't wear blush. I have this MAC brush. I don't know what this does, but let me try to use a little bit of this color here. I normally don't wear blush because my cheeks are normally naturally rosy but I so I don't even think like you can see it I don't know it just might be me but that's where I put it I don't know and then let me try to put like some of this highlighter right here can you see that did that do anything Looks like there's a harsh line. Well, here are the whole, this is the whole face palette. And this color right here is what I put on my cheeks. This is the one I use for the highlight. And there is a light pink color right in the middle. Let me show you the brushes, you guys, cause that's quick and easy. So here are two brushes. And these are like 20 to $30 each right here, just in these two brushes. This says MAC 234SES, and it looks just like the packaging. And here is the brushes. It's like two-toned. That's so cool. So would that be a blender? I don't even know. I don't know much about brushes. Would this be a blender brush? That's just so pretty. I don't even know if I want to use it. <laughs> And then here is, this one is the MAC 126 SES. And it has the same different, ooh, that is very soft. Ooh, I don't, I don't, is this for powders, you guys? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> I'm still learning, but look at, that is so soft. Oh my gosh, that is so soft. Okay, so there's the two brushes. So now let's go in with the other smaller boxes. One of them is the broken one. And I don't even really want to take this one back out. But let's see. You guys let me know. Do you think I should try to salvage this and try to press it back down? Or do you think I should just say don't because I probably won't use this this color anyway because I have that other face palette you know okay so I don't want to open it too much because I do not want another mess it got all over my desk at work that day which was okay I guess rather there than here <laughs> but there we have it uh... this one is called electric wonder iridescent powder and there is the color right there so let me know, do you guys think I should try to repress it down or just call it a loss? But there's that color right there. This next one is Electric Wonder Iridescent Powder as well. Intro, Intro Eternity is the color of the broken one. This one is Serenity Seeker. So this one is Serenity Seeker. So there's the packaging. This one's not broken, so I don't mind. <laughs> opening this one all the way there is a little mirror on the top and there is the color look how pretty the pink and the gold swirled in there let's get the ooh it just feels nice and creamy so this one is right there that brownish bronzish color next to nothing bronzing powder Canyon Dreamin. The first one is Canyon Dreaming. Same packaging. And there's that. That does look a little dark. I would think for me. There's that color bronzer right there. This one is in the color Sun Soaked Strip. This one's on a little bit lighter tone. So this one's right here and the other one is right there. 
let me uh, pick up a lot. I don't know, I don't really wear bronzer, so I'm not quite sure how that works, but that is the lighter color. And I have the blush and the highlight and all that other good stuff. So there's all three or four, sorry, four of those colors that are in these smaller compact style boxes. I don't know, is that how you wear bronzer? I don't know. Like I said, I'm still learning. I'm comfortable with my eyeshadow. That's it. Anything else? Uh, no. <laughs> so let's do the lipsticks and then we'll do the lip glosses. And here are all of those. So here is the packaging for the bullet style lip lipsticks. This is in the color Let's Messa Round. M-E-S-A. Let's Messa Round. Look how pretty. All match. Like that is just so pretty. Okay, so inside there's that color, very light pink, like almost like a lip gloss. That doesn't look like that's what it would be, but that's what it is. So let's see here. That smells so good, but I don't really see the color on me. It's like a very pale, a very pale pink. Very light. And it smells good. That one is a luster lipstick. So we have two luster lipsticks, two matte lipsticks, and one satin. So let's go ahead and go with the next luster. This is in the Naturalist. Ooh, there's that. Maybe that's just this formula that they're more of like a glossier finish being the luster. But there's that color right there. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. So there's, there's that. <laughs> and again, there's that. Now let's do the two mattes. This first one is Life in Sepia. Life in Sepia, S-E-P-I-A. Not sure. Ooh, that looks like that'll be pretty. Ooh, nice and dark. Let's see, let's see. So there's that one. Same as that. It looks like it comes off darker than what is in the package, but I actually really, really like that. I do. I do, I do. Okay, so the next matte would be color Natural Born Leader. That's right. We are Natural Born Leaders. <laughs> so there's that one. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> I think that is really pretty too. And you know, you guys keep telling me that like the darker colors that I put on look good. So I'm starting to actually like darker colors. Can you believe that? <laughs> Can you believe that? Look, look at me. Mm. <laughs> I actually like that. I do. So this satin one is in the color Fillin Sedimental. It's not sentimental, it's sedimental. Fillin Sedimental. And so that's like a natural color. Let's see, right there. No. No. Where'd they go? Where'd my lips go? Where'd they go? They disappeared. They They disappeared, you guys. No, that did not make it any better. There's, <laughs> no, where are they? <laughs> Can you see them? <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Whoa, but it's not something that I'm going to grab and use. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> 
it might look good on somebody with a different skin tone just with my skin tone it just lip glass brilliant so these are all the same formula just different colors so let's go ahead and just start opening them okay so this one is make me mirror mercurial Mir mercurial I'm not sure m-e-r-c-u-r-i-a-l all right so there's the packaging for these there's the color let's get it on these little girls over here so there's that and this is a lip glass not lip gloss this is lip glass okay so the next color is coral of the wild so this is probably gonna be a coral color <laughs> oh no it's a light like a neutral color like a nude color yeah but it's coral but it's hard to kind of see because it's a light coral color so let's see it's probably gonna be too light of a color but you could always probably put it over a darker color to neutralize that color did they disappear again <laughs> yeah i think this would probably be really pretty if i put it over a darker color or just use it kind of for like a gloss just like a natural gloss because it's not that dark so i'm sure there mm -hmm. okay so next we have marble fawn f-a-u-n marble fawn so this would be a pretty just like a lip topper lip topper get your lip topper yes that would be just like a lip topper right there Not afraid of this one, it's not a really good color. So really nice, just like a lip gloss. That's cool. And like I said, you can always put it over another color too. So yeah, I like that. Okay, so next is Nature Freak. And whoa, <laughs> you know, I don't like yellow gold and that is what that is. That is a yellow gold but it's it's in my collection that is yellow gold me May, maybe over another color those are gold <laughs> those are gold like right there gold so that <laughs> that's just not my favorite color <laughs> no 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 get off of my lips goldie it's like sticking to me like it doesn't want to come off it's like nope you're a hitchhiker this last one is called rock stars and it's not an s it's a z rock stars this looks brown like chocolate milk it's right there. It's very, very shiny, but it's like a brownish color. I mean, I kind of like that actually, surprisingly. I kind of do. What do you guys think? So there are all five of the lip glass, lip glosses, all five colors. The gold one, you guys, I'm probably not going to use probably at all <laughs> but the other ones I will probably definitely use so there's that the lip glosses have a very thick like feel to it like it took a while it wasn't like the lipsticks where it just came right off my mouth or my my lips that one it took a while to get off my favorite I just put back on is the life in sepia or I don't know how to say it but that one is my favorite I think that is the entire collection you guys what do you think i think this is absolutely gorgeous um if i was buying this individually i probably i don't know about the bronzer did you guys see it did you I mean can you tell that i have it on 
Do you think I should use bronzer? One is too dark. The other one is definitely too dark for me, but the lighter one, um, if you guys think it looks okay, I just don't know. Like I'm not comfortable with it. I don't know what to do with it. So that's definitely way out of my comfort zone. These two brushes are just so gorgeous that I can't wait to use these. Only one out of these I probably will never use unless I'm putting it over a color to make it lighter if the color on is normally dark. With all of these guys, I like pretty much all of them but the gold one. The other ones are really, really pretty. I do like them. So out of them, there's one of each of those that... I don't really care for, but I definitely have two main favorites in both. Um, the eyeshadow palettes, these are just stunning. Then you have the like highlighter type one that I'll use when I do the other one. So I'll try that on then. But this is the entire collection. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 pieces, that is correct. So. I have been waiting all week to get this Sunday so I can sit down and go through everything for you guys and try everything on. Again, I've already done the one look like this. I'll play that. Then I will take this off. I will do the other eyeshadow palette and do another look. I'll do like more of the greens. I'm so excited to try those. And so then you'll see a look from both palettes. So if you would like to see how I created this look and what I'm gonna do with the next look, then Hold on. Okay, so I totally thought that I was recording everything that I've done so far and my whole screen just went black. So, all I've done so far in this palette was use this color right here on the top. It was a little too light for me, so then I went in with this color right here to add it a little bit darker and then I added this shimmer on my lid and that's all I've done so far. So let's continue this look now that I know I'm recording. Oh my goodness. Sorry you guys. It's like I literally looked up to add this color and it went black. I'm all, why? 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 You're plugged in. What are you doing? Mm, that's just my look. So, all right. Now, since I am doing all MAC, I'm going to use my MAC mascara. And the only MAC eyeliner that I have is like a dark gray. So I'll try it out on this one and then I may have to use my black on the next one, but this is the only color that I have, so. My completed look number one using the first palette, the one that had the broken shadow in it. So here you go. What you think? Okay you guys, so let's do the second look. I'm always start with my MAC Vanilla first. Okay, so I'm going to start off with Marzipan. 
It's this medium color right here. Looks like it says marzipan. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this big attitude, this last one down here to kind of darken that up a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this So Jaded, this light green in my lower lid. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Dua Bandita, I'm not sure. The one that when I showed you, it looks green, but brown at the same time. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with, it is the beat, this dark green right there. natural born leader i did it again <laughs> Okay, you guys, so there's my complete second look. What do you think? So I really, really love both palettes. One is more of like the neutral brown tones. The other one has more of like the grays and those pretty like green iridescent looking colors as well. So I'm really, really glad that I got this entire collection because now I have so many different options and so many different looks and everything that I can do with this entire set. Now I have a bronzer. I can start playing with bronzers. I do only have one bronzer from um, Physicians Formula, which I really do like. This one's a little bit darker, so you see it a little bit more. So I got to figure out how do you really use it. I'm not comfortable with bronzers yet. I'm not comfortable bronzers yet. <laughs> I use a physician's formula one quite often, 
but again, it's a lighter color, so it doesn't show as much. This one um, is a little bit darker, so I just have to figure out how it works. <laughs> Comment down below, let me know what was your favorite product out of here? Did you have a favorite color from the lip prod, the lipsticks, the lip glass, lip glosses, the palettes, anything like that? Which look did you like better? Did you like the first one that I did with more of the browner tones or did you like this look with the little greenage going on? Let me know your positive interaction with me means the world. And if you're not already, I'd greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button so you'll see the different videos that I do load for you guys. And until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours. What is this? My conductor? <laughs> Keep a smile on the gorgeous face of yours. And I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Something. I don't know. But, all joking set aside, definitely keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours, and I will see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye.